Yes. Carrie, how are you? Yes, your week. How was your week? Was it as tough as? I think so. Things are very challenging. I'm sorry, something happened with the Instagram and it didn't uh, work. No. What is the noise? Yasu. Hola. Shalom. Howdy. How things are. Elizabeth, do you still hear a noise? Do you guys, is it, does it sound clear? There's nothing in the house. I'm here on my own. The cats are not even talking to me. No, they're not. So today's subject is about the freedom of being, um, the freedom of being valid. Uh, yeah, it's not raining. Hi, Tony. Yes. So by knowing how was your week this week, we will be able to we will be able to actually know how to combat it. There is so much energy going in the air. There is so much craziness really out there and people are divided. People are fighting. People are all defending their points. And I'm sorry that you were said Shalom, shalom. Um, our main cause, our main reason, our main purpose is to spread the love. This is our main purpose. When we are now in fear, when we are in sadness, when we are in threat, when we are in anger, it is affecting us severely. Okay, anxiety, being on the edge, stress. We can't afford our adrenals, our hormones cannot afford to actually be under that stress. One might ask, what can I do about it? How am I going to achieve um, the things? Can I tell you, some of you has the pendant, I'm actually wearing three pendants three pendants you will think what is it like crazy what are you mr t what is it like the a team well what can i say um it is super challenging that's all i can tell you and when it's super challenging we need to shift our energy we need to be stronger okay it is our I guess, responsibility to be strong, to hold the energy. We can't do anything else. Someone wrote here, frustrated, angry, stressed, 100%. Those of you who are homeschooling, those of you who are teaching, those of you who are creating all these energies, working from home, it is super 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 challenging time but what are we going to do about it what are you going to do are you going to just eat some of you eat a lot of cheese are you going to sleep a lot are you going to do the netflix sure do that but can you please exercise can you please drink some water can you please make sure that you are um going to be in a space where you are nurturing and loving yourself. You must nurture and love yourself because otherwise what will happen? Will you just be angry at yourself? And as, are you still here with us? I literally, I'm not sure if I sent you a happy birthday, but happy birthday live. Happy birthday big uh, for as that has watched us just before. Um, Part of the things that are really, really in struggle here is what is my opinion? What are you thinking about that? Yesterday I had an interview for the uh, radio, just a, an Israeli Jewish radio show here in triple Z, three triple Z or something. And, um, and they've asked me what are the tips and tools that I give and one of the simple tips and tools were to keep your routine going. 
you must allow your regular routine of short, brisk walk, having the right amount of sleep, allowing yourself to connect on a higher level to yourself, okay? A lot of people already starting to loop in their head. They're starting to do their head in. They're being so frustrated. We can't see the end. And it is effing frustrating. So what are you going to do with that? You cannot fall into that drama loop. You cannot fall into the stress. Okay? You must keep yourself with some form of sanity. What do I do? I think Friday I, I binged watched The Last Madame on, on Netflix. I watched it from the beginning to the end. I'm looking for another series. But it's like... Yeah, I let myself do that. But I still, I rode my bike to the park. I have done a little walk. I made sure that I spoke to some loving friends. I made sure that I kept my, my spirit, my mind working, going, moving. I'm thinking, how can I make a difference? What can I do to make myself more um, sparkling within myself? So I've started, a week and a half ago, I started a keto diet. This is now the second week. I've already shed two and a half kilos. Moving right along, 20 to go. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm just going with that, going with that, going with that. I am not thinking. Before, when I took the rubbish out, I asked my neighbor, how are you going? He said to me, one day at a time. Guess what? One day at a time. We can't plan anything, can we? We can't imagine, you know. For the fifth time, I should have been right now broadcasting to you from Uluru. That Uluru, will I ever get there? So, you know, I can. Hello, and thank you for all those who watched. I can be upset about it, but I choose not to. I choose not to. I mean, a part of me, of course, is like, oh, but I can't do anything about it. So am I going to let the shit put me down? Or am I going to, to literally turn it? and push it back. That is what we need to do. In a, in a few minutes, I'm going to teach us a love meditation. Yes, Tamani. Yes, I want to go there too. Again. <laughs> so, supposed to go there with my daughter. And what can I say? Sometimes it's one minute at a time. Just push. Next, 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 next. You have no choice. You have no choice. It's the way that you will conduct yourself which will determine how you are going to be successful. Okay? I'm not going to motivate you in a day. No, it's shit. It's really, really shit. But you can still breathe. You can still stand under the sun. I think I got some suntan, but I don't know how. Really, maybe just from riding my bikes. No one can take the breath that you breathe. No one can take the air. No one can take you out of the sun. No one can take the laughter away. Today I've pumped the music in the house. I put the M People channel on Spotify and I let it play and I let it roll. You know, so if you don't have too much to think about, too much to do, focus on what's needed. And then focus on another thing. And then focus on another thing. So I made myself a list. I'm a Virgo. And we need to make little lists, little direction, little boundaries. And those boundaries will bound you. And when you are bounded, at least you have a little measurement that you can sit in, that you can fit in. Remember, those of you who did my course, and I can see Helen, and Baxter is here, and Tamani is here. You've done the course. This bottle is bounding the, the, the water that is here. If it wouldn't be bounded, it will go all over. So those are good. And no, this is not an ad for San Pellegrino, even though I would love them to sponsor me. Because that's what I drink. <laughs> um... How many of you, let me ask you a question. How many of you are waiting for an external validation to feel that they are good, bad, important or not? 
How many of you, tell me, do you wait to get external validation? Tell me yes or no. Just changing the light here a little bit. Are you waiting for external validation? Because if so, what happens when you don't get it? Or what happens when you do? Because when you are waiting for that external validation, you have given your power away. You have released your power away. And that power of yours is being captured by that external person to validate you. So if you're buying a dress or, or pants or any part of clothing and you're like, oh, I hope that they would like it. Are you buying it for them or for you? When you are doing something for yourself or when you are expressing yourself, are you doing it for yourself or for someone else? Then you are giving your power away. But when you are in confidence, when you know what it is and how it is that you want to live your life, then no one can move you from it. When you are making a decision for yourself, for your body, for your soul, for your mind, for your emotions, no one can take your decision away from you because you are the master of your life. You are the commander. You are the main decision for your life. Does that make sense to you? How many years have you been waiting for that external validation? I bet most of your life. And why is it like this, do you think? Why is it like this? Because everybody else trained you to think that their opinion is better than yours, whether it's your parents, whether it's your siblings, whether it's your partners, whether it's the teachers at school. We wanted that. <laughs> Today's International Dog Day and we're all acting like little puppies because we want the validations from others. Now, when you stop, when you stop doing that, you become your own masters. And that is the most important thing for you. Okay? Look at Jeanette here. She used to live in Hyatt all her life. And then <coughs> Queensland. Here we go. She became the master. She packed up. Boom. She left. Great courage. Great strength. Leaving everything that you know to go and follow your heart. Or follow your mom. But I'm sure that you actually did it and you're loving it. Give me an example, please, of where you give your power away. Today, it's about your validity. Okay? So tell me, please, where have you taken your power away? Who have you given your power to someone else and while you stayed without it? I want you to tell me, starting to love it. That's amazing. I would like you to tell me, ciao Bella, how are you going to, waiting for COVID to end, to tell me we're okay? Well, that is just waiting for something else to tell you, my love, Trin. Um, whether you give your power away or not, in any case, we need that validation. We need that the validation will come from facts. We need it to come from evidence-based. So are you doing it through fear or through love? How are you going to allow yourself to find your own inner truth no matter what you do? How will you allow yourself to know how beautiful, how valid, how strong, how powerful you are. How many of you now living with fear? Whether it's fear that you'll be stuck, whether it's fear that you won't move, whether it's fear that you're going to be sick or other people will make you sick 
or that you won't leave the country or that you won't travel or, 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 or. So many fears. Are you going to look at the half empty or half full? Or are you just going to look at it? This bottle, you can't see, but it's quarter full. That's what it is. It's a fact. Whether I like it or not, whether it's positive or not, it doesn't matter. It's a fact. So what are the facts that you can hold on to now that will be love-based, that won't distract you from your emotions? Please give me some answers. Please. That's where I feel like a preacher and I need to see your answers. Hey, Dovstach. So, where do you give your power away? Where do you act from fear? And where do you act from love? When, where, same, same. The fact is that you are in control of your life. The fact is that you can still exercise. The fact is that you can still control the little things in your life. Write to me. I know that I went to pick, I had to go to the bank today, unfortunately. So I left the house and I went there. And um, the energy in the street, Glen Huntley Road, up the road, was so heavy. There is so much density. There is so much density in the air. And our aim is just to push it away. Our aim is to transform and transmute the energy into love. So how are we transmuting the energy to love, one might ask. Can you tell me where in your body, please, you feel fear? Can you tell me that? Where in your body do you feel fear? You can say the head, the heart, the back, Write to me, please. Is there any way that you're feeling in your tummy? Okay. Stomach. Yep. Chest. Solar plexus. Chest. So everything is really here. Tummy. Another one. So it's all of that. Chest. Tummy. Maybe head. But it's mainly here. Do you know why? This is your gut. This is your gut feeling. This is where the heart and your gut are, are meeting. Remember how a couple of weeks ago we spoke about the head, the heart, the gut, and the soul. When your heart and your gut, which is your primal emotions, we are being swamped in our head. Sometimes I get messages, 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 messages. And I hear the news, 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 news. And it's like, enough. It's actually enough. It's so much information, so much information, so many numbers, so many challenges. And I'm like, WTF, enough is enough. What is actually the bottom line? How can I care for myself? And how can I just send love to everyone else? I'm just going to Palo Santo us. So how are you going to do that? Tell me. We're going to explode that now. We're going to change the energy for it. And we are going to transmute it. Okay? Would you like us to do that? Because I would like us to do that. Let's shift it. Dion, where do you feel your stress? It is overload information, 100%. And when you guys are feeling that stress, it takes its toll. And we need to allow ourselves to shift the energy. We have to be responsible for ourselves. And this is how we do it. Remember the song? This is how we do it. How are we going to do it? Uh, do you like me to use my drum? Let's do it. Yeah, turn off media for sure. Or just at least listen once. Let's do that. I'm going to do some quick meditation for you. 
Okay, here's something I prepared earlier. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. All right, so this is, let's do some breathing. Let's do some breathing. Let's just breathe in white light and breathe out all the stress. Breathe in white light and breathe out all the stress. You don't have to close your eyes. You don't have to do anything. Practice the breathing. Breathing it in, holding and... If you can breathe in, one, two, three. Hold it, two, three and breathe out. In two, three, you're acing it. Breathe in white light, just imagining it. Now as I'm holding, it's swapping. And then, if you'll be able to bring it into breathing in in seven, holding it in three, and breathing it out in seven, that is something to aim for, okay? Every time that you breathe in, it's very relaxing. You breathe in white light. And just do the breathing. Just do the breathing. As you do the breathing, I want you to focus on those places, the tummy, the chest, the solar plexus, maybe the head, and just transmute all the stress into love, into light. Bring in the love. Do you have any, as I said, International Dog Day, do you love a dog? or any other animal for that matter. Innocent love, pure love. I want you to feel that love in your body and to fill it up with so much happiness and joy and laughter. You know how they do the laughter yoga and they make themselves laugh? <laughs> truth is that when you're smiling, the muscles goes up. And as they go up, they're literally, physically switching off your fight, flight and freeze. And it is shifting all the energy of the negative, of the stress. So don't watch extra scary thriller. Just watch beautiful comedies, allow yourself to laugh, allow yourself to clear the energy, and you're just breathing, I don't want you to do anything, breathing in white light, breathing out all the stress, breathing in white light, breathing out all the stress. And as your body is getting more and more relaxed, more and more relaxed, you are now allowing yourself to connect through love. If you see stressed people, send them love. You know me, when I walk in the street and I see someone that might have not spoken to anyone or they're very lonely, I always say hello to them. Yes, my daughter thinks I'm like, mom, and I'm like, say hello. Smile. Maybe they didn't smile for a little while. Smile for a while. You see, it rhymes. Now, how does the tummy feel? How does the chest feel? How does the, maybe the head feel? Tell me, how does it feel? Does it feel any better? Just write to me, say yes or no. And we're just shifting it all away. Beautiful. Shifting it all away. Beautiful. 
Well done. Well done. So then, beautiful. So then, the next thing that we're doing, beautiful, you see? Very, very simple. Very, very simple. It already feels so much nicer and lighter, isn't it? Now your next mission is to connect your head, your heart, and your gut. That will connect you to your soul. You think, you feel, you sense, and you know. The soul is at the back of your heart. It's all over, but it mainly sits there. And this is where you can feel, you know, you own yourself. And you know that you are love. And if you are love, that is what you need to project. Nothing else. So you are a little tool of projectile love, 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 love. It doesn't mean that you're a lala. It doesn't mean that you have spiritual shit. It doesn't mean anything. You are grounded. But you choose to connect via love rather than via fear. Set to. That's it. Finish. Does that make sense to you? You're choosing to go via facts. And I know that on every fact, there'll be other facts. And on every other fact, there'll be other facts. And I know that there's a lot of hatred there. It doesn't matter. You stick to love. Does that make sense? You are free to be valid. And your validity, self-validation, is the most important thing. You don't live for me. You don't live for anyone else. You live for yourself. And that doesn't mean selfish. But it means that you must care for yourself. And when you care for yourself, this is it. This is it. Have you ever heard of active listening? Active listening is when we actually listen. Your partner, your friend, your, your parent, your child is coming home and they just want to... And you want to answer, but... And then it's like you're feeling frustrated because you're feeling unheard or you're feeling that you are not receiving the attention that you need or you can't be bothered even to hear them. You can't do it anymore because you have so much stress in your head and you don't want to do any of that. So what does it mean? What can you do about it? I would like to teach you. It's a, I teach it in the course Self um, First Aid for Emotional Trauma and as part of my course, 28 Lessons in Self Mastery, which I have to remember to talk to you about the new dates very soon. Um, basically, active listening means when one is speaking, the other one is listening. But if you can't listen, that means that you are not paying attention to what your loved one, let's just call it loved one, says. The way to deal with it could be a sibling as well. Like it's, it's, there's no drama. It's not just authority, right? What I would like you to do is to take a timer, put 30 seconds. And for those 30 seconds, one side is just listening. The other one is just talking. That was my day. And that was this. And then the other side just saying, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is there anything else that you want to say? Mm-hmm. And then, okay. Is there anything else that you would like to say? That's interesting. You're not offering to help. You're not jumping. You're not saying yes, but you're not saying, oh, what have you done? You are just listening. Okay. And then timer comes. Usually start with a minute. Okay. 30 seconds. It's too short. Three minutes. It's too long. The other side is listening and you are. And how was your day? And this and this happened at work and this and this happened and. I don't know what to do and I'm feeling stressed and I'm feeling upset and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. anything else, anything else. And then it is done. You will see that you will actually be looking forward to hear and you will be looking forward to speak. When you will actually do that, the energy will be cleansed 
it will be very, very structured. No one will talk on top of the other. No one will trigger really the other. And the way that you will communicate will be extremely constructive. Because how much it's annoying when someone just enters to your words, when someone just speaks in a way that makes you uh, frustrated because you don't feel heard, because you don't feel accepted. Does that make sense? So I would like you to practice with someone. And if you live by yourself, like me, just do it with a friend. Practice. It doesn't matter. And when you do, it's going to be amazing. So how, who can you practice it with? Does it sound like a good idea for you? Please tell me. Do you think that for a lab I should have put it in a glass? See, I live on my own. I just drink it straight. It's mine. Nobody else drinks from it. I can tell you. So tell me, do you think that, have you ever tried to do active listening? Do you think that you can use it? Angela, what do you reckon? Exactly right. I wanted to ask you there. So Angela is married to a beautiful husband and she has two beautiful kids, but they all get excited and they all speak in a very... Mediterranean way, right? <laughs> hey, Julie. So this is a perfect way to try. It can even be like at the dinner table. One person speaks 30, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, and then the three listens. And then the next person, the three listens, and then the next, and then the next. Trust me, it's going to be amazing. Like this, they can practice. Okay, we're all part of it. Let's all pick up our plates. Let's all put it in the sink or in the dishwasher or whatever. Each one does something. I would like you guys to unite your energies, not to divide them, to unite them because we are all together. What about for ADHD minds? What's, what do you mean? Like how long to do it? Just do it for 30 seconds. Do it quick, ADHD, boom, boom, boom. Just do it like this. If you'll do it very quickly, it will be still be fine. Won't be any problem with that. You just maybe need to do a reward for that at the end and that will move it, right? <laughs> but that will definitely move. And besides, I'm so happy to see you guys listening. I mean, not that you have anything else to do and we are all in lockdown, number 6.3 and OMG, but... Still, I'm grateful that you are here and that you're listening and afterwards you can share it, maybe share it with other people. My aim is to help you all to shift from survive to thrive, including myself, not to fall into the stress, not to fall into the anxiety. You remember, I need to move from this house. The train is buying me out, but I can't do inspections. I can't have the valuer coming to the house. I can't look at houses, the market is on fire, and it's TikTok, TikTok. Bulldozers are coming in a few months, and I'm like, I just have to let it go, let go, and let God. I have no other choice beside of trusting. And this is what I want us to do, to trust, to trust, to trust, okay? Because you have to trust that something better is coming. This chaos cannot stay for too long. We are now in the middle of a war. A war between the light and the dark. What are you choosing? The light or the dark? Every time that you're in fear, every time that you're in anxiety, every time that you're in stress and frustration, you are in fear. You are in the dark. You are not walking in the light. Allow the light to guide your way. If you're feeling those chest or tummy or back or whatever, you are not aligned. Align your body. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Do you have any questions for me? This is the time to ask the questions. Questions, questions, questions. Yeah, light, light, cal, cal, 100%. The light is cal, easy. 
Another meaning of the word light is easy, isn't it? Just not heavy. And this is what it's about. How to trust and walk in the light? Very good question. How to trust is to understand that, I don't know, do you believe in God? For those who believe in God, it's very easy because we believe in a higher being. When we believe in a higher being, we trust. Now, trust in Jesus, who was a very big light worker, trust in God. It's not about the church or the establishment. It's about the pure energy. You walk in the light train every one step at a time and you just say love and light, love and light. I am in love and light. You know, even if you're terrified, love and light. And this is where we need to be, okay? A um, couple of announcements. Firstly, I'm so happy to say I forgot that I have a new Insta page. It's called Sacred Union. And I'm not sure if it's Sacred Union with the Soul Alchemist, but it's in the bio of my Insta. Um, I'm almost positive that it's Sacred Union, the Soul Alchemist Sacred Union. I know, I shouldn't not remember it. Um, and I have another Insta page, Soul Alchemist con Collections, and um, it's about, it's, that's where my products are. And, well... Next Friday, it's my birthday, so maybe I will do a special one for next Thursday. Um, and then it's going to be Father's Day on the weekend. And then two days later, it's going to be the Jewish New Year for the new moon. So it's a new moon. It's a Jewish New Year. It's Father's Day. It's my birthday. It's okay. And then it has to be a special energy for all of us to shift and to move that energy. And... It's like that the universe is giving us opportunities to handle and to hold into the light, hence then to shift the energy. So how much are you willing to shift your own energy? How much do you care to move it? I care a lot. So I grab my bikes. I just go for around the block. And I can tell you, that my bike since March, I did not ride my bikes. And literally last week, last Thursday, I picked them up and I did it. Then I rode to the clinic a few times and I rode around the area. And it's so much fun and it's exercise and it's rejuvenating and it's different. And that's what it's about. You need to start to do things differently. So your homework is to ask your body, what do I need? What do I want? What would I like? Within your means, within your opportunities, within your abilities. Does that make sense to you? And don't say, I want to leave the country. Yeah, I want to leave the country too, but you can't. So do what I can do within my opportunities, my abilities right here, right now. Okay? There's big plans. There are small plans. There are daily plans. Okay? What else did I write here? Yes, the newsletter. Newsletter we'll be writing and we will send to you all. If you are not part of my uh, mailing list, we will actually put it as well on the Insta and on the Facebook so you'll be able to connect and to do. Do you have any questions? If not, I can start reading some cards for you. Any questions, any questions, any questions? And those are my cards from Survive to Thrive. If you want to get them as a gift or as for yourself, they're only $44 and they have 74 cards. So, yes, let's see what we can do. Okay, so the cards as well, they go according to all the chakras and they have amazing transformational energy in them. The back of the cards, this is the Merkaba. Merkaba, it's actually the chariot, and that chariot is a transformation. So you can even just meditate on this galactic one. So I'm going to shift and shuffle the cards. I shuffled them from last time, from last week. 
You have strong resistance receiving and giving money. Well, contact me in private, Haruka, and let's work on it in private. Okay. Adain lo yeah, Elizabeth. Do tracking. Sent it to you like two, three weeks ago. Okay. Well, it arrived to New Zealand and to Michigan. Just a general card. Regeneration. Here we go. My cells are now regenerating to full capacity on all levels and dimensions. Okay. All right. Who would like a card? Say me. Thank you, Helen. You'll be the first card. Zoom. Helen, are you deprived or feeling content? I am now willing, ready, and able to tune into my needs. Helen, into your needs, okay? Okay, now you're all writing me, me, me so quickly. Okay, next. Trin. You can't feel timid. You can't feel upset. Say, I am now safe and secure. And when I'm saying to say the affirmation, you can all say the affirmations, okay? I am now safe and secure. So Trin, you love your... <laughs> and the next card that you got is security. You love your routine. You love to have your controlled, um, I guess, environment, which we all do. There's nothing different about that. But you have to remember that even if it's not your regular thing, you are still secure. So please say with me, I am now secure on all levels and dimensions. I am now secure on all levels and dimension. Elizabeth, you are next. Elizabeth, are you feeling trapped? Well, Israel is going to go into lockdown in a minute. I no longer feel trapped. I am now free to shine my light. I am now free to shine my light. Jeanette, one for you. Letting go and confident. Letting go and confident. As I let go of my fears, I find my confidence. I now enjoy being the amazing person that I truly am. Perfect. Very, very good. Hang on. Let me just do some more. Palo Santo. Okay, let's shift it a bit. Um, Carrie, you're next. Fulfilled. Have you published any more books, darling? I am now willing, ready, and able to live in my fullest expression of myself. Brilliant. Even if you have ADHD people in the house. Does not matter you got it julie for you julie you are restoring you are restoring your energy i now restore every cell in my body to full vitality i now restore every cell in my body to full vitality did i miss anyone from here no so who do we have here me 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 wait 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 Okay, Dove, you were the first one. Dove, your card is ultimate love. I found the greatest. We so need to do karaoke. What if I'll do one talk, just karaoke, and I'll put everyone. Everyone should go online and sing with me. I am now willing, ready, and able to create new pathways of love, joy, and happiness. Zoom. Well done. Who was there laughing at my karaoke ideas? Judy, you are the second one. Lack of awareness. What does it mean, lack of awareness? I now choose to raise my vibration and be aware of all that is around me. And Baxter on this side. Hang on. Baxter, choosing to move and trusting. I choose to move forward in my life and I'm now willing, ready, and able to fly high. That's for Bexta. Even though she's a silent watcher. Bernice. Universal love. Universal love. I now feel universal love 
in every cell of my body. I now feel universal love in every cell of my body. Tamani, I so want to see your beautiful Bobby. Um, Tamani, for you, you are brave, Opa, and reconnect to life. I am now willing, ready, and able to step out of my comfort zone. It is safe for me to reconnect to life. Okay? Brie, for you. Brie, your card is abundance. Your card is abundance. I am now, pardon me, I am now proud of my achievements and am full of gratitude for my wonderful life. Abundance is everywhere. Abundance is everywhere, which is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. Um, you're welcome, Baxter. Diana, communication. Do you need to improve your communication? Let's see. Lockdown, not working. Homeschooling. Yeah, definitely. Um, I am now willing, ready, and able to express my emotions in a constructive way. I communicate in a higher form of love. Well, we're talking here to a South American descendant. Fire, right? The fire is burning. Yes. Fuego. Haruka bird. Let's do Haruka. Haruka, you are actually free. You think that you're trapped, but you are free. So I am now free to be in my full potential and self-actualized. Definitely send me a DM. We need to shift that awareness. Angela. Angela, are you feeling stuck? I'm now free from any sticky situation. We know what the stuckness can be, right? I now choose to fly. I am free to fly. Metaphorically, unfortunately, the airports are closed. I want to give you another card for that. You might be overwhelmed and expressive. I am now willing, ready, and able to listen and to be heard. So that active listening, especially for you. Capish? Comprende? Good. Dion, Yasusita, what are you traumatized about? I now heal all my traumas. I choose to revive and thrive right here, right now. I choose to revive and thrive right here, right now. Another card for you, Dion, is the war is over and I am now free. No more fighting. No with sibling, not with anyone else, not with children. Of course you did. Nicole, would you like a card? Nicole, shine and optimistic. I am optimistic and now willing, ready and able to glow and shine my light into the world. So that's a very pretty card. Okay, you are welcome. As, happy birthday if you're still here for yesterday. As, for you the card is empowerment. I am now willing, ready and able to empower myself and others. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Um, Vicky, one for you, if you're still watching. Unmotivated, motivated. It's like, mm, I'm not so sure what I want and I'm not so sure how it is. I'm now willing, ready and able to be motivated and bring the spark back into my life. So the fact that you were in hospital, what does it mean? How are you going to change your lifestyle and what are you going to do? And then the request from Francis, a card for me and for you. Okay, Francis, that is for you. This week, it is all feeling balanced. It's feeling balanced. I am now in full balance in every area of my life. That is amazing. And for me, I am now willing, ready, and able to nurture myself and shine my light. You see, when I'm walking in the street, I'm actually feeling everyone else's energy. And I'm feeling the energy, and I'm because I'm a super empath, I'm being sucked 
with the global energy and that's why I actually received the message to put the third one and that third one is like this is my new one by the way that's a coral it's beautiful and um, it is strengthening your energy so it's about us replenishing and pulling it away um, so that everyone will start and do self-love it's all about that self-love Frida of course Frida can have a card Frida 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 it's about nurturing I now nurture myself and others with love so don't be upset if someone is feeling a little bit upset or unsure about different things it's about us making a difference in our lives of course that you can have a card did I miss anyone I know that Natalie from Miami will be watching us. So Natalie, are you feeling frustrated? I now choose to see the big picture and release and transform my frustration into love. Because remember Natalie, you are love no matter what, no matter how. Does that make sense? Um, Savion, I know that you will be watching it. It's about feeling worthy. I am now worthy of love and all the good in the world. Okay, beautiful. Do we have any questions? How are we feeling? So the, what we're taking is active listening. When you're feeling unbalanced, head, heart, gut, soul. When you're feeling confused and frustrated, focus, realign yourself. Make sure that you're doing things with love. If you're feeling not validated, you're welcome to get my valid drops. Even in this lockdown, you can either do click and collect or you can buy it. Give me a call. I'll send it to you in the mail express. Okay. The valid is about owning the feelings of being valid and worthy no matter what. Acknowledge your own worth and free yourself from the need of external validation. It is already done. It is already done for you. So let me take one for me and for you. That is for me. I'll just put it like this. And I'm going to put it in the aura of everyone. I am valid. I am strong. I am worthy. I am powerful. Everything is connected to the higher level of joy and love. Okay. So this week we spoke about, what did we speak about? The freedom to be valid about internal validation versus external validation, about trusting, about taking one step at a time, about connecting through love. Okay. All those things are super important for you to connect through that level, through that layer. Okay. And this is where you must connect to yourself through love. Okay. I'm Sharon, Sharon Tal, the soul alchemist. I love you so much. And I just want you to spread that love and light. Okay. You're special. You're amazing. You're beautiful. I must say it about myself to myself because it is about that self-love. Okay. Took me many years to get to this place, but I do know I'm awesome. Now I just want that joy that I have within to... I've got the power, but you have the power too. So let's bring it out there. Let's make one person happy and then they'll make another one happy and then they will make everything happy so it's about us holding space through love through joy through success because if you're a day that you're not frustrated angry and upset it's a success right i'm going to see you next week and i love you lots and take this situation Take this lemon, make it tequila shots. I don't drink though, but you can make it or lemonade or whatever. Stick to your routine of health, beauty, and joy. 
Make sure that you're walking and breathing and smiling and singing. And if you don't sing, dance. We always need dancers. Don't worry. Okay? But you are valid and you're amazing. And I love you all. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.